And now for some final thoughts on subatomic particles. We learned early in school that there's such a thing as atoms, and that all of matter is composed of them. A little later we learned that atoms, a word by the way from the Greek atomos, meaning indivisible, are themselves composed of even smaller particles, the familiar electrons, protons, and neutrons. Under exotic conditions of high energy, like what's common at CERN and in other accelerators, particles wholly unfamiliar to everyday life pop into existence. But what may be unfamiliar to us is common to the cosmos. Want to find the biggest accelerators of them all? They're out there, in the universe, the million degree cores of stars, the turbulent environments of massive black holes dining on gas clouds that wander too close, or the stupendously hot conditions during the Big Bang. So while physicists probe ever higher energies to understand the fundamental building blocks of matter, those same experiments serve as a probe of what's going on across space and time. There lies one of the most remarkable stories of modern science, how the study of the smallest constituents of matter offers deep insight to the biggest event there ever was, the birth of the universe itself. And that is the Cosmic Perspective.